Hello dear friends, this is Ewell Humphreys and I'm glad that you tuned in on me uh, here in rather one of my messages that I like to bring to you from from the Bible and it's just a short message, a 10 minute message and I pray it will be a blessing to your heart. I am entitled a subject that uh, the Lord will find a way. The Lord will make a way and He'll make a way for you if you believe in Him. He'll always make a way. And sometimes we face something and we don't know what to do. And it seems grievous and we cannot understand. But the Lord will find a way and make a way for you to get through. And the Bible teaches that truth over in the book of Psalms. In the book of Psalms, Psalm 46 and 1, it says, The Lord is our refuge and strength, a very present help in time of trouble. The Lord is our refuge. He is your refuge today, dear friend. He is your refuge. He's looking now to help you, to make you one with Him, to make you strong, to walk by faith, to trust in Him. He's your refuge. A refuge is a place of peace. It's a place of safety. It's a place of honor. It's a place of rest. The Lord is your refuge. Go to Him. You've been fighting hard. Just stand still and go to Him and say, Lord God, help me. I'm trusting in You, and the Lord God will make a way. The Lord is our refuge and our strength. We find strength in the Lord by faith. We look up and He says, I will help you and I will strengthen you, and I'll uphold you by my right hand. And so we need to know that He is there when it seems like there is no answer to your problem. Look to Him and you know that somewhere God is going to find that answer. And He'll do it in the right time. And He'll do it in the right way. And the man who is standing stern, firm upon the rock and says, I believe, will stand and He'll go through to every situation and He'll make His way to victory. I want you to work. I want you to serve. But more than that, I want you to believe. I want you to believe by faith. For righteousness comes by faith in the Lord. And so believe, believe, and let Him be a refuge to you, a refuge in strength, a very present help in time of trouble. If you're in trouble right now, let the Lord help you. Go to Him and say, Lord, I don't know how I'm going to get through this situation. Please help me. Please open a door somewhere. Please give me strength. Please send me the light I need for my darkness. Give me the hope that I have in my despair. Give me the life that I must have as I feel it's almost come to an end. Oh, whatever you're facing, my dear, dear friend, the Lord is your refuge and the Lord is your strength and He's a very present help in time of trouble. This is one of the things that we need to see when we regard the fact that the Lord will make a way for you. Number two, another one is in the book of Exodus. In the 14th chapter and verse 13, Moses said to the people of Israel, as they stood before the Red Sea, and behind them was the thundering chariots of Pharaoh coming down upon them. And they were helpless. They couldn't fight against Pharaoh. They had no weapons. And they looked out upon the Red Sea. There's no way they could get out through the sea. And the Lord said to Moses, and Moses spoke unto the people, and here's a word that he said to them, and this is a word he's saying to you. To somebody out there right now, he's saying this word. Listen, fear not, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord. For the Lord will fight for you and win the battle. Oh, my dear friends, hear this word, fear not. Fear not, stand still. You know, sometimes we, we allow fear to come in, and fear is not of God. Fear is of the enemy. Fear is of the devil. So just say, I'm going to cast out this fear, and I'm going to ask God to give me courage to face this problem, whatever it is. Whatever it is. If somebody's uh, facing a, a terrible disease uh, and something they cannot seem to find a cure for, fear not. The Lord God says, Fear not, believe me. All things are possible to him that believes. And he'll take away your fear. And you'll face your time of trauma with a pride and hope, hope that will never die. 
and you'll come through it and you'll win the day because God is with you. The Lord loves you. And He's saying, stand still. Stand still. Quit worrying. Quit fighting. Quit trying to figure it all out. Just wait on the Lord. Stand still. Wait on God. Wait on God. And He, you, will see the salvation of the Lord in your life. And so that's a good thing to remember. That's a good thing to remember in every hour of need. And then thirdly, and lastly, we want to think about the fact that there is in Mark, in uh, the uh, first chapter of Mark, uh, this passage. And as Jesus walked by the Sea of Galilee, he saw Samuel, or Simon rather, and Andrew his brother casting nets into the sea, for they were fishers. And Jesus said unto them, Come ye after me, and I will make you fishers of men. And they straightway forsook their nets and followed him. So here was Sam and Peter and Andrew, his brother, fishing. And Jesus walked by that lake of Galilee, and he looked at him and called and said, Follow me, follow me, and I will make you become fishers of men. And they forsook their nets and followed him. And that's what we need to do today. We need to hear the voice of the Lord saying to you and to me, Follow me and I'll make you fishers of men. I'll make you soul winners. I'll make you like stars that shine at night the brightest. I'll make you like that which comes of God and blesses many. I will make you that which holds the free spirit of the Holy Spirit in you. I will call you when nobody else can call, and you will hear when nobody else can hear. But he's speaking to you. He's talking to you, and he's saying to you, Come after me, and I'll make you become fishers of men. And this is the way of the Lord God. And this is the way of truth for you today. And they forsook their nets and followed him. This is important. We need to forsake our nets. We need to turn away from what we can do and people we can lean on, and the things that we depend upon. And we need to say, Lord, I can't, but you can. I'm turning loose my nets, and I'm following you. And the Lord will bless you and guide your way in Jesus' name. Oh, praise the Lord. Jesus is the solid rock on which we stand. Let me close with this little illustration. Years ago, there was a ship wrecked off the coast of England, and the waters carried away many to their death, but a young Irish boy was swept up on a great rock, and he clung to that rock. And all night he clung to that rock. He just lay down on that rock, and the waters rushed around it, but he stayed right there. And the next morning they found him on the rock. And as they took him back to the shore, they said, Well, that's wonderful. Didn't, didn't you kind of, were not you afraid out there all night long? Didn't you really tremble? out there on, on the rock, and, and, the, and the young boy said, Yes, I did tremble. I was afraid, but I tell you this, that old rock never did tremble. Amen. Sometimes we have to tremble as we face some adversaries and some difficulties in our lives. But listen, when you stand on Jesus, when you believe in Jesus Christ as your Lord and your God, then you can know the rock will not tremble and you'll stand because you're standing on the rock. On Christ the solid rock I stand. All of the ground is sinking sand. Oh, that's so important. I want you to know that. I want you to believe that and recognize that fact that it's the truth that is through the ages of that old hymn of the solid rock. My life is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the simplest frame, but wholly lean on Jesus' name. When darkness seems to hide His face, I rest on His unchanging grace. In every high and stormy gale, my anchor holds within the veil. On Christ, the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand. Praise God. This is the way. This is the way the Lord will make a way for you because He's your Lord. He's your rock. He's your foundation. He's your life. Trust Him. Trust Him now. Ask Him for help. And may God bless you. In His name, Amen.